viewers, this is Lipa Buhay again. My name is Evelyn and I usually share things about planting, uh, air layering, a lot of things. Today I will be sharing to you how to propagate a cucumber. Actually cucumbers are of different varieties. I But I usually choose this kind of cucumber. I will show you this. They're not that long cucumbers. They are quite short cucumbers. But the reason why I like propagating them, it's because they are crispy. They are very crispy, a little bit of sweetness. And I just love them ha to have them in my salads. And this is how it looks like. Uh, I did this for like uh, more than two weeks, almost three weeks already. And it looks like this when you propagate in seeds they can take time but cucumbers they actually grow very fast i think this is three weeks i hope i'm not mistaken but i think this is all about like three weeks already one thing why you have to to plant them or transfer them in a bigger pot it's because if i show you here you can already see the roots see Cucumbers really grow quite fast that they, they the root system will really expand very quite wide and if you transfer it uh, as early as possible like this it's much better because they have a chance to grow more one thing they love is the sunlight they they, they like it when it's warm uh, but of course in my kitchen I have I have an area where my cucumber uh, really loves it because it's kind of a whole day there is a sun in there and so they really grow very fast I don't use any any warm mats or whatever heating pads you know that some people are using I don't have it uh, so this really grow just in natural sunlight now uh, don't go away because I will show you how to plant it exactly I don't know what happened <laughs> my camera just torn off so again i take it from here <laughs> now i'm putting the soil and as you see that i have it there and yeah some people may white wonder why i'm planting it in a planter why not i just plant it immediately on the ground outside i cannot do it now because it's still very cold if you have a temperature that is below 10 degrees Celsius. You can never put your plums outside yet. So people who are just new in European countries or in the US or wherever country where you have cold weathers, I didn't know it before, but based on my experience and, and, and research and all this thing I did, you can never put tropical plants, some plants that can never take uh, coldness so as of now at night time we still can have three two degrees celsius so when your plants are outside in that temperature they will die they will freeze and you don't want to plant where the next day you will see all your plants dying right so if the temperature you have to be you have to be updated that when the temperature during night time is still below 10 never put any plants that that cannot take uh, cold uh, because they will die so now i will show you how to using gloves in your planting is really very good because sometimes special people i don't have long nails but uh, uh, I have short nails. I never like to have long nails, especially that I love gardening. Uh, so I, I use this because uh, it's it's just so good and it's kind it's cold. Actually, it's cold. My my feet. I only have my pants. I have no three layers in my legs and feet, so it's actually starting to cold to to feel cold now. So this is the 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 cucumber. See and you just turn it upside down press it on every side of it and pull it up and there you go you have a healthy cucumber plant 
if you wonder a lot of people what they do like it's kind of this month if you have a green house i have a greenhouse here but this greenhouse is actually not designed when the weather is still because it's not a winter greenhouse it's different kind of grass. that is my dream i want to have a winter greenhouse a winter greenhouse is you know you put heater on it and then and then they're kind of thicky uh, thick uh, compared to this kind this kind of greenhouse is not really designed for uh, very cold temperature so i can only put it there when like maybe two weeks from now then i can transfer some plants so you see when you plant it do not put the plant like you know up to there because of course there are some plants that you can do like that they don't care but some plants they don't like it they feel like they are being ground or they are being you know how do you say it i i, I lost i have it in the swedish word but i lost the english word of it so it looks like that now we have a cucumber plant here and for those who doesn't see they are very clear it actually looks like this and it even put here cucumber delicates with middle length cucumbers for salads or pickles who doesn't like salads and pickles so it looks like that that's what i said it's crispy cucumber they are really very delicious and i don't know some of you may not uh, feel like that but i just feel like if you harvest your own vegetables in your garden I, it's just so nice you know 100 <laughs> percent the quality of your fruit the quality of your vegetables and in in other countries i know it's also expensive but it's more more much more expensive here in sweden sweden is one of the european countries that has we have very expensive everything is expensive why <laughs> because we have very high tax <laughs> that's why but anyway it's like that you have already this plant i actually have this more uh, three four i still have more four of it uh, and so i will be planting them here and i still have here so i will be planting all of them in this i will not show you here or else i will be sitting here and talking to you for like half an hour and i don't think <laughs> some of you will you know have the patience for that but anyway some of you may white wonder can I have this cucumber here for like until it will grow fruits? Yes, I can have, you know, but the reason why people will transfer it either on your garden or in a bigger pot, it's because you want your cucumber to grow much bigger and to, uh, and to bear more fruits right so what i will do is just i just have them here like maybe until may middle of may when the temperature outside is already uh, 10 or 15 degrees in the evening so that is like the lowest you know 10 degrees the lowest temperature is 10 degrees even in the evening then i can put them, them outside i can plant them in my my garden because i have an area where i, I, I plant the vegetables or maybe i can just have it in a container but a bigger container so it means i have to transfer them so if you wonder like uh, yeah can you still have it in this kind yes of course you still can have it in this kind of container but be sure like every week you, while it's growing or even already bearing fruits every week you give it some fertilizer you know you give it food it's because why you give it food if you wonder sometimes like people are planting and their plants are just in a small container and you wonder why they are so healthy why they are you know they're not thin and and they still have lots of fruits why it's because they're giving it fertilizer every week once in a week once in a week you give it fertilizer and that fertilizer even if the soil is just not so much but they get fertilizer every week then they still can grow but of course 
they would love to be in the you know in a big area in 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 a big garden where they can really grow under under roots can really you know can really grow freely because here they are like imprisoned in this very small container <laughs> So it's just like us people, we want it free, right? It's the freedom. So it's the same with plants. That is why when you buy plants and they are in this container and you will see your neighbor or your friend have same plants and you will think like, why her plant is so big and a lot and like a bush and mine is not that big. Well, anyway, number one consideration is that the other one is giving extra food like we people you take vitamins it's like you know an extra so you get much more than what you eat so it's the same with plant if you only give it water without fertilizer and they are just in this small container then of course they will be not growing that big and they will not give you a lot of fruits so what you do you have to transfer them in an area in a bigger container or transfer them just outside your house in a garden and just be sure that that area you get sunlight in it it's because they actually like sunlight they love sunlight so i have it here now and then i will be planting the rest of my cucumber so anybody who is wondering something about cucumbers then you just you just write your comment below and uh, if you subscribe then you can get a lot of the information i have in my gardening playlist so i have different playlists in my gardening playlist i share a lot of things about planting propagation air layering uh, and there's a lot of plants where you can usually you can actually produce more of it by air layering I love air layering is because you can really have an exact copy of that plant the exact taste of the fruit And that is the only way you can have it the air layering process or the grafting process So all this process I have done it and it actually works very well And you save a lot of money because they they actually they cost it's it costs now so anyway i would like to thank you again all my subscribers and for those who are subscribing now thank you so much for supporting my channel uh, we just support each other uh, and that is one thing i do you visit my channel watch my video and there's are two things we learn as a youtuber you know we learn from others video and we even learn other products why because you watch their <laughs> you watch the ads and uh, there is something when you watch the ads you can actually learn products that you never know before and it's a way of like helping each other and that's my way of helping my subscribers helping my regular subscribers who are visiting my channel i usually give my help by watching your videos full and uh, when you know it's just like watching tv uh, when the when the when the ads starts then you just let it play and, and and hear it and you can do other things you still hear the videos so anyway thank you so much and i hope you will be coming back to my i hope i can do much much more videos i'm um, a part-time youtuber uh so today is wednesday and wednesdays i don't work so during wednesdays i will try my best now that during wednesdays i can really make some videos anyway thank you so much for watching this is evelyn see you again next time